May 26, 1972. The USA and USSR signed the SALT agreement, restricting the number of nuclear weapons. Tensions seemed to decrease between the two superpowers. 1977. Leveraging a flaw in these agreements, the Soviets increased the number of tactical missiles along the Iron Curtain, directly threatening Western European capitals. June 18, 1979. Despite the Euro missiles crisis, talks continue and lead to the SALT II agreement. But when an American senator reveals that a Soviet combat brigade is deployed in Cuba, Congress refuses to ratify SALT II as long as the purpose of this unit has not been clarified by Moscow. November 9, 1979. It is in this context of renewed tensions that a NORAD technician runs a test program on a system aimed at detecting Soviet nuclear strikes, but forgot to switch the computer into simulation mode. At 3 p.m., NORAD computers start displaying some 250 Soviet missile launches. The White House is immediately notified, but President Carter is nowhere to be found. It falls to his national security advisor, Zbigniew Brzezinski, to deal with the situation. Brzezinski knows he only has six to seven minutes to decide a response in case the attack has confirmed. While waiting for more information, he orders the B-52s to take off and the strategic missiles to warm up. A few minutes later, NORAD calls the advisor back to inform him that 2,200 Soviet strategic missiles have been detected. This is an all-out nuclear attack. The American response is ordered. No one has even thought of using the red phone to directly contact the Kremlin. When the oversight is finally discovered a few minutes later, the ICBMs are automatically destroyed on flight. But it is too late to cancel the conventional strikes. Fighting has begun all along the Iron Curtain. November 9, 1979. In the Fulda Gap, Sentag American-German forces managed to break the Soviet front. But their spearhead advances too far and is struck by an enemy counterattack near Velkehausen. Our recon troops have been annihilated to the last man. It left us completely blind. In their last message, our scouts stated that large enemy armored columns were heading directly for our position. We must hold our ground and inflict enough casualties to stop their assault. To achieve this, you have to use our M901 ITW. Their missiles can destroy any tank at long range, but their armor is weak and their ammo is limited. Our M60A3 patents have better armor. They can form a strong first line of defense. Light armored vehicles such as the Martyr and M113 can be used as scout units. They also have anti-air capabilities. You have to choose between several strategies. You may deploy your missile launchers in open fields to take advantage of their long range. You can also use your infantry to take the town in echo this would grant us control of a strategic crossroad and could disrupt enemy supply lines. You may choose your strategy, but you need to hold at all costs. Hello everybody, my name is Trollmaker and I'm showing you how to do the mission uh, Ride of the Black Horse. And I'm probably going to be able to get all the objectives, I think. So let's see what they have on the map for us so far. That's not too bad. We're actually going to get an extra U1A command helicopter. We will be getting some actually, get all the infantry we can get. Infantry are pretty good. If I can land them anywhere. Okay, display zones is not good. We are going to get. Um, Four patent tanks. And we we'll get a couple martyrs, not too many. 
doesn't bring a lot of infantry, so we're not too worried about that. We will get a lot of these uh, tank thingamajiggers. They do very, very well in this mission. And uh, maybe some of these different types of heavier power. Use those as well. in there. That should do pretty good. So for, as far as the tactic goes, what we're going to do is remove our... We have one command here at Gulf, so that we have a closer rally point. So that here, and they're both the same numeric value. You'll note the computer does in fact cheat and he gets a, a 4 right off the bat. We do not. I'm going to secure Foxtrot, and we're going to work on Echo. We're slowly inch our way into Echo, and then we'll take it. And Echo is where all the supply lines go, so we're going to get a lot of supply trucks from the uh, enemy. I don't have an FOB, but that shouldn't be a big problem for this particular mission. So, let's begin. It's an honor to serve under your command. So we generically select everyone in one direction first. My we don't individually control each one. Redeploying the, uh, the U... Anything the O1As, want. call them, are very, very fast. So they'll probably be out of everybody else. Just spit it out. And we just want to kind of set ourselves up uh, up here in the open. We're on the move. So we can kind of take out people as they show up. Taxi the martyrs are your anti-air in this mission. And they can also deal with a lot of enemies very, very well okay. too. We're going to have one of these, just one, go into the middle of Echo. And the tree are actually really, really, really. What are your orders, sir? Did I say really enough? Let's say it again. Really good at sniping out We're enemy tanks. So we'll use them to that order, guard. You don't want to have all your bet your eggs in one basket. Let's screw you guys out a bit. Around that these open clear. areas here, and uh, you know, the only big problem is that I have a lot of anti air. Uh, infantry can double over us that, which is good. Flank here a little bit, so put some infantry there. So we have. Golf, and we have Foxtrots, we have 5 points per s for how many seconds, I don't know. And then we'll get Echo eventually, so that'll give us a lot. And I don't really know what's... I mean, it's don't have orders, so I'm gonna wait for them to stop in position. Because I definitely don't want them just hanging out here. So... One, or many of the segmented missions are to, um... Get 500 points, 1000 points, 1500 points in the enemy. Get, capture 10 supply trucks and keep 4 M901 ITWs alive. None of these are particularly hard missions. But they are missions regardless. Other missions that have to get done. So, and it's going to have your forces relatively spread out. Um, so as to not take seeing the high amounts of damage. So that your miss can be effective. Tank destroyers. The only good enemy is a giant field turn be insanely effective. Which is great. And uh, the patents are yes, going to be kind of. Well, they are tanks, but they're going to act as actual That's tanks as opposed to the metaphorical tanks that they usually are. Okay, because I mean that's not a big loss at all. We do want to get a tank up there, just the martyrs not gonna do. So we will order some more patents up. Right in front. Right here. Yeah, 
Dear God, the poor Hank destroyed him to the team already. Oh, no, you're the one. I'm D Jupiter. You, sir, are on bitch duty. And the infantry job is basically to uh, beat the crap out of the enemy. Their, yeah, their, that's what their job is. Their job is to, you know, sucker punch the enemy when he's down. Any kind of situation where he is, uh... Any, anytime where the enemy's in a position where he uh, could, you know, possibly run into your infantry, that's what they're there for. Just basically you run into... Sounds kind of silly when I say it that way. And I guess it is kind of silly when I say it that way. I'll read this one. Came out quite well. Uh, combination is pretty important because I mean the tank destroyers are really only good against tanks. They kind of suck against everything else. Yeah, uh, uh, the monitors are really good against like unfortunately. Okay, we're going to try as fast as we can. Maybe we'll get more uh, tank destroyers out. Make more expensive ones. The bigger the open fields, the more potent they will become. I can guarantee you that. We do want to secure Echo, so we're going to have a nice little surround here of tanks and murders, most importantly. They do very, very well. So here's a good example of a time where I can kind of sucker punch the tanks and move this infantry into a nice position. Okay. Kind of move up and just take some tanks. They trade very cost, like the whole mission is cost efficiency. Trade cost efficiency. Tanks are really, really bad in town, so this works out very much in my favor. Always my favor. Yeah, lots of anti tank weapons here. Do very, very well. Why does it always have to be me? Yes, sir. Passions will deal with this. I think I did a lot better last time. I think I got infantry to the units like that. Infantry is going to be a mega, 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 mega infantry. Let's keep trying to get back into the position. This one here is a very, very poor position with uh, Tank Destroyer. When this big battle's over, you to something like right here, so that covers this stretch here. Because right now it's not really covering anything, which isn't good. Oh no, it's firing off, but still, yeah. And the Ural crosses right here. Yeah, if I can capture this in the middle, that'd be huge. So I might just do Right in the middle. And that's just yeah, a really interesting thing about the right now. Right now. Yeah. Of this zone. 
So we already can't TM me, that's good. That's very good. Why does it okay, always have to be me? Here. Oh, and the order of actual Jupiter. Let's so release by some of the rockets. destroyed. This might be just work out perfect timing. And then I'll get a lot of Urals from them and all oh, will be great. Really, like a lot of this is going to be resupplied because rockets take a ton of supply compared to most units. So that's something to consider. I might pull up a tank This is going to get rocketed down. Really good. Pretty good. Yeah. 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 I also got some level ups. So this is a crossroads for um, the enemy supply of... What do they call them? Rebels, and we're going to take as many of them as we possibly can. Let's get our units spread out in nice location. These two empty ones can't be the objective, but are not particularly useful to us. Holy smokes, look at all these empty ones there. I didn't even make them. That's why my battle is going so bad. I didn't have my tank destroyers to the front. Oh, here's some empty jupiters not doing anything. So you kill these guys and get them back to the front of the battle. I smell a Yura. Now there's no real requirement for me to really get all these stars, because I already have them all when I did this mission last time. But I'll try my best to get them all. This is the general tactic that I did to get them all. Just spreading all units around here, some units here. Oh, we got a tank down there. Actually, starships are anti-air and they're tanks. So that's a good unit for down there. Now this should be fine. I think an anti-aircraft does come, or an aircraft does come down here eventually. And once this is nice and secured, up here, we'll uh... Actually, after that, that starship, I should be able to move up this Whatever it's called. I'll put it right I'll set up a new command right here. Post now give me a pretty sizable amount of stuff. I also remember the opponent being much more aggressive than this. Ich wusste doch, dass sie uns nicht lange vollenden lassen würden. What's up, sir? It's not a good spot. Maybe like right here. Maybe we're maybe moving again. Why does it always have to be me? That's uh, not a good spot. Maybe right here. Yeah. Clear. Out. No, there's no tank there. I can't do that. Maybe down here. Order, sir. Uh, put you two. Break over, folks. We're moving again. Why does it all have to be? We'll go right. On our way, sir. We need a tank up. So we need a tank or infantry. Both. This is where all the money is made, by the way. The fact that these tanks cannot get through here without getting bombed massively. But you gotta keep in mind that when you're doing this, you're gonna have to restock these guys pretty good. So there's one objective done. Not too sure. I like to use all my DRLs as uh, a... I'm gonna throw them forward to see what's there. 
And the enemy is being thrown like, oh well. I think you don't get points for stealing stuff in this game. You only get points for, uh, for our, uh, taking stuff, killing stuff. What's going on down here? Is this the, uh, who has a big mother bunch of horses? Just because there's actually units there to kill. And that is useful. Time to die, so T64 to A. Yeah, I do need a tank up here somewhere. Uh, put it though. It's a problem. If I would just had some uh, anti tank weapon. What are your orders, sir? Here. Well, there's no real point in trying to defend that position right That's now. Rock and roll. Ooh, look at this. Tank destroyer is out of uh, supplies. Eesh. I haven't really captured enough supplies to really. So I have to actually get another Jupiter to just respawn. As long as you respawn the rockets like this, some very, stuff is kind of pretty avoidable. Oh my god, UAZ command vehicle worth 280 points. And it will die. Long tank destroyer is low. They are all dead. Wow, he just one shot at that vehicle. That's a little bit of BS. The fact that I, I've been tr I tried out the starships at the time, and they're not that good. I rushed infantry into here, right off the bat, and that paid out really, really well. This time around, um, didn't work out so hot. I'm not very happy with the lack of reclipability, is that a word? I'll get this done, but I'm not gonna get the awesome like 1500 score that I got last time. Right which, ah, I missed it already. Yeah, I'm not, if, if you're watching this, do uh, don't use starships. They don't have the armor the patents do. The patents are heavy, 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 heavy armored, and can pretty well deal with anything and everything that these guys can throw at you. Oddly enough though, my position play is much much better in this run. It's just my actual score is not as good. It's let down. I probably will get a thousand over maybe. The Urals are not coming right into me like they were last time. 
And no, that was not going to be true. That could actually be the big difference, but that their Urals were actually like running through Echo last time, and this time they're not. That could play a big, big part of it. Ah, oh, stupid starships. I don't know why I got those. Oh, they're getting restocked. Fight my ogres. Uh, I can need to get some really lucky rockets right now. Like, this guy's gotta hit the BMP first, and then the main battle. Oh, he's gonna have to make that first. Shoot. One is an all! Uh, looks like my forward line is actually mostly diminished. Uh, but yeah, shoot, I didn't get all the missions done. That really sucks. This is the general format that you should use. Um... And it, you know, it works really well, and the first time I did this, I got really lucky, and I got all my command stars, like, from this mission right off the bat. This playthrough, not so lucky, but I think you get the general idea. I think next time, but when you just, uh, make more patents, less starships, more patents, less infantry, and add in more infantry later on, that'll get you big thumbs up. Until the next mission. My name is Trollmaker, and uh, thanks for watching.